Hello, I'm your host and teacher, Emily Mitchell. Today you will learn to speak to someone face to face about a problem that you're having with that person. Yes, this is data processing. Amir will be back in about 40 minutes. May I take a message? Morris, area code 310-555-1792. Okay, goodbye. Tanya, I got your note saying you want to talk to me. Oh good, I really do need to talk with you. Let's chat later. Guess who's here to see you? Hi, Tanya. Henry, what are you doing here? <laughs> well, I was just in the neighborhood and I decided to pop by and visit a beautiful woman. Oh goody. You really shouldn't be drinking that soda in this room. I think we can make an exception this time. After all, Henry is visiting. I'll leave you kids alone to talk. These are for you. They're beautiful. Thank you. I, I got two tickets to the concert tonight. I hear it's a really good show. I can't go, Henry. I have a lot of reading to do. Uh, Miss Brown wants us to be together. She's a very smart woman. Yes, she is. And I'll be a late woman if I miss the 11 o'clock meeting. What time is it? <gasps> Please leave, Henry. I'm, sorry, I'm very sorry. I didn't mean to spill any soda on you. Get out, Henry. What about the concert Get tonight? out! Okay. Welcome back. Let's talk about what we just saw. What does Henry bring Tanya? Henry brings Tanya flowers. Is Tanya happy to see Henry? No, she isn't. What did Henry spill on Tanya? Henry spilled soda on Tanya. Does Tanya want Henry to stay or leave? Tanya wants Henry to leave. Now let's see what Tanya wants to say to Ms. Brown. Do you think Tanya wants to talk about Amir? Let's watch and listen. Aunt Lisa, I want to know what you told Amir. Did you tell him to stay away from me if he wanted a job promotion? Yes. I told him if he wanted a job advancement, it would help if he stayed away from you. Amir deserves advancement. He always works hard and seldom takes a break. He sometimes comes to work early and often stays late. Henry does his job well, too. Why can't you appreciate a man like Henry? I don't want to date Henry. I went out with him once to make you happy. I won't do it again. There are a lot of important people in Henry's family. One day he'll be making a lot of money. But that doesn't make him any better or nicer than Amir. Amir is thinking about quitting his job. He doesn't want to be told who to see or who not to see. Well, if that's his decision, what can I say? Don't look so happy, Aunt Lisa. I won't be told who to see or who not to see either. If Amir quits his job, I will continue to see him. Does Ms. Brown want Amir to stop seeing Tanya? Yes, she does. Is advancement another word for promotion? Yes, it is. Who does Ms. Brown want Tanya to date? Ms. Brown wants Tanya to date Henry. If Amir quits his job, will Tanya stop seeing him? No, she won't. You did very well. I can't believe it. Our restaurant was actually crowded at lunchtime. Yes, a lot of people came in today. If business stays this way, we could open a second restaurant, which you could operate, Min. I think it's great that we're doing well. But the restaurant business is not where I want to work. 
What are you saying, men? Your father and I are working hard, not only for ourselves, but for you too. You're my mother and I love you. And I appreciate everything you and father have done for me. But I want to work in a hospital as a nursing assistant. You want to work around sick people? Your father and I had hoped you'd operate the restaurant when we retire. I'm sorry, I can't. Every day I get customers who give me a hard time. Some of my customers make trouble for me too. I can't get used to some people's rude behavior. Min, you'll find bad behavior in all jobs. Are you sure you want to work in a hospital? Yes, mother. I enjoy the work. I like helping the nurses and the patients. Your father and I want what makes you happy. If you want to work as a nursing assistant, we support your decision. Were there many people having lunch at the restaurant today? Yes, there were. Is Min happy that the restaurant is doing well? Yes, she is. Is Min happy working at the restaurant? No, she isn't. What kind of work does Min want to do? Min wants to work in a hospital. Is Min's mother angry with her for wanting to leave the restaurant business? No, she isn't. Very good. We're going to practice using some of the words that we have learned today. Listen to Tanya. You will have time to repeat what she says. If you need more time, you can always press the pause button on the VCR. Let's watch and listen. I'm having some problems. I can't eat or sleep. Maybe I can help you. Let's chat. The people next door make so much noise at night that I can't sleep. I hope the noisy people move out of your neighborhood. Helen used to be the assistant to the president of the company. On Friday, Helen became the president of the company. On Friday, Helen got a big promotion. I have an aunt in America and an aunt in Vietnam. You have an aunt in America and one in Vietnam too. Sometimes you can change one word or phrase for another and what you mean to say remains the same. Listen to the statements made. If you need more time, you can press the pause button on the VCR. Can we chat about it later? Yes, we can talk about it later. I've had two job promotions in three years. You've had two job advancements in three years. Next month, you will operate the restaurant without me. Yes, next month, your father and I will run the restaurant without you. We serve American food, too. That's right. We serve American food, also. I have a headache. Please don't give me a hard time today. I'm your mother. I should give you trouble.
In just a moment, we will see Gustavo confront Luis Calderon about the money owed to him. Do you think Mr. Calderon will apologize for not paying him the money? Let's watch and listen. Guys, I'll give you two more dollars an hour. <laughs> no one trusts you, huh? You're not an honest man. Oh, it's you, Gustavo. Yes, it is me. I've told a lot of day laborers about how you didn't pay me after I finished the job. I know, I've noticed. I've been having a difficult time hiring new laborers. Every day I tell day laborers about you. And those laborers go ahead and tell other laborers about you. And those laborers tell other laborers. All right, laborers all right, laborers. I understand. Are you responsible for this flyer? Luis Calderon is a dishonest man. I'm not going to pay you. What do you have to say about that? Does Gustavo trust Luis Calderon? No, he doesn't. Does Mr. Calderon agree to pay Gustavo? No, he doesn't. Let's find out what Gustavo has to say to Luis Calderon. Do you think Mr. Calderon will get Gustavo to stop saying bad things about him? Let's watch and listen. <laughs> I'll see you in court next week. Look, look, I'm tired of this whole thing. I don't want to spend time in small claims court. I'll pay you what I owe you. Twenty dollars, okay? <laughs> You're always trying to cheat someone, huh? $200. Take it. You know, while I was working for you, I hurt my back. I think the visits to the doctor cost me about $63. 63 dollars. Not to mention another $35 on small claims court fees. It's nice doing business with you. Gustavo! How's it going? Well, how are you? I'm all right. What are you doing here at the law office? Oh, I have a part-time job here. I am assistant to the building manager. Are you still working for Stefan? Yes, but only part-time. He had me working 16 hours a day and only wanted to pay me for eight. Besides, he made me repair appliances he promised I wouldn't have to repair. He sounds like a terrible boss. He is a terrible boss. He even wanted me to fix his car for free. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm here to thank the lawyer, Mr. Jackson, for helping me get my money back from Luis Calderon. You won your court case. No, Calderon settled out of court. You mean he gave you the money he owed you without having to go into the courtroom? That's right. Did Mr. Calderon want to go to small claims court? No, he didn't. Did Mr. Calderon pay Gustavo more than $200? Yes, he did. Did Mr. Calderon pay Gustavo's medical expenses and court costs? Yes, he did. Why is Gustavo at the law building? Gustavo is at the law building to see Mr. Jackson, the lawyer. Today you have seen confrontations. One person tells another person how he or she feels about a particular situation. 
You've seen Tanya confront Ms. Brown, Min confront her mother, and Gustavo confront Luis Calderon. Write your answers to the following question on your worksheet or on a piece of paper. If Ms. Brown threatened to fire you unless you stopped seeing someone at work, what would you say to her? List everything that you would say in that confrontation with Ms. Brown. You have learned several new words and expressions in this lesson. Before you use these words, let's pronounce them. Chat. Chat. Verify. Verify. Promotion. Promotion. Two. Two. Neighborhood. Neighborhood. Flyer. Flyer. Operate. Operate. On your worksheet or piece of paper, you will select the best possible answer to each vocabulary word or expression. Your choices are either A, B, C, or D. You should make only one choice. Let's begin. Chat. A. Cat. B. Hat. C. Talk. D. A cat's hat. Verify. A. To talk. B. To make certain of. C. To always tell the truth. D. To tell a lie. Promotion. A. Country. B. Money. C. Advancement. D. A dance. Two. A. Also. B. More than one. C. A number. D. A direction. Neighborhood. A. House. B. Friends. C. Area where people live. D. Downtown. Flyer. A. A paper with information or an advertisement. B. An airplane pilot or an insect. C. A pair of shoes or sandals. D. A cup or saucer. Operate. 
A. Carry. B. Run. C. Feed. D. Make change. Let's see how you did. Chat is letter C. Talk. Verify is letter B. To make certain of. Promotion is letter C. Advancement. Two is letter A. Also. Neighborhood is letter C. Area where people live. Flyer is letter A, a paper with information or an advertisement. Operate is letter B, run. Thanks for taking the time to study with us today. This time, you learn to speak to someone face to face about a problem that you're having with that person. Next time, you will learn to organize a party. Until next time, keep putting English to work.